This video is turning so negative. I'm sorry. I'm just giving my real emotions and I'm it's it's pretty negative. It's like you're crazy. Like you just have to be a miserable person. You can have nothing else going on for you. I am heated. This is why I should not keep things bottled up. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. Well, my day is starting on the side of a road. I'm just randomly sitting here. I'm starting to feel better. I just died on my run this morning. It makes no sense. I ran the same distance I always do, two miles. The weather isn't even that hot. Maybe it's like 80, 79, 80. So it's not like crazy hot, but it just, oh my gosh, like the last half mile, my heart rate was up. It was like 181. I felt like I was gonna puke. And once I stopped, like once I stopped, that's when I really feel like I'm gonna throw up. And you can actually probably still see them. There's a woman who's walking her dog. It was just the woman and the dog before. And she went up to me with the dog, like, oh, you're, you're her next victim. Like talking about the dog, like wanting me to pet it. I thought I was gonna puke on this dog without even touching it. I just said, oh, that's the cutest dog and walked right past her, which sounded so rude, obviously. And she was letting the dog pee over there. So like after I'm just sitting here on the ground, she like yelled, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, it's just the Florida heat, I guess. So yeah, starting out my day like this, this is not ideal. I have quite literally just been spending the entire morning editing. It's one of those days and Zach just got back from Aldi which I think we might turn into Aldi people because Publix has just been insane. Like I've been going in there and getting robbed. Yeah so where you come from Kroger where it's incredibly affordable, nice, you get everything you need. So I've never once even thought about like going to like Whole Foods or I, just because I just don't need to spend the money. But all of Charlotte, we went to Publix because it was right across the street. It's very, very expensive. Then I started going here and then I saw an Aldi the other day. So I went there to test it out and I had my first uh, Aldi experience. Let's get the haul. Do you have any idea how much all this costs, by the way? 75 bucks. What? I've been spending well over 100 every time I go to Publix. Oh, I've been spending 125. Yeah. yeah it's like been expensive. What, you're trying to one-up me? <laughs> so before you came over here, I did get chicken and eggs. I got us some snacks, pita chips, and like these black bean sesame things. We've been doing K-Cups again, so I got us some Aldi coffee. Clancy and I both like the dark roast, so we'll have to try that. We went in <laughs> on some Aldi wine. I think this was like $7.99, so for all you connoisseurs out there, paired with Oh, he's starting to get all fancy. Dark chocolate, 85%. I got some fancy maple French toast bagels. Some peanut butter. Creamy. Yeah, don't eat crunchy unless you're a furry. I got some Alaska cod, blueberries, blackberries, peas, carrots, broccoli. I tried this like sweet potato carrot mix. Oh, that's like my heaven. <laughs> the rest of the stuff is just more of the same. Wow, and you got all this for like 70 something bucks? It was like 75 bucks. That is insane. I think I might have to make the trip to Aldi. It's a very different experience because it's like almost simplistic, like how they have it all like laid out or whatever. So like I was slightly turned around trying to figure out where everything is. But once I did my laps around the place, I was able to find everything. Okay. This is a long time coming, but finally, I'm gonna be giving you guys a little bit of a wedding planning update. And honestly, this is something that I've been avoiding talking about. I really have. I've been getting a lot of requests on like every single video, all of my Instagram story Q and A's, like wedding planning update, da 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 da. And I just haven't wanted to talk about it, but finally, I took the time last night I did a little notes app on my phone of some topics we must discuss. And we're also going to be getting ready for a photo shoot tonight, which I'm so excited about. We'll get into that after I'm done getting ready. But yeah, wedding planning. The very first thing I have written down, and this is how I really have been feeling, I just don't care. And then the next line is, am I normal? Because I seriously feel like in today's day and age, if you don't care about your wedding, like there clearly must be something wrong with you. Like everyone is so into it. And I have obviously a lot of friends who are getting married at the same time as me. I actually wanna wear more makeup than normal right now because of my photo shoot. And I can just tell I'm a lot less into it than they are. Like the certain, there's like questions people ask me where I'm like, 
I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm just like, I don't know and I don't care. Like people, first of all, it started off with us not doing a wedding party, which was like, oh my gosh, how are you not doing a wedding party? What? I just didn't even feel like getting into all of that. And then now people are like asking me little details. Even the other day, the person who was giving me my facial, the fa is fa esthetician, facialist, I don't know what you would call them, but she had found out is also engaged and she was like asking me for like the details, my colors. That is the best question when, pe when people ask me like, what are my colors? I don't have colors. I mean, obviously I don't have a wedding party, but then what other colors? Like I, I literally said to her, I'm like, well, I guess maybe like the napkins, like it'd be nice if they were pink. I don't know. Like there are no colors. There's no scheme. There's no design. I don't have a wedding planner. Honestly, I'm not trying to like hate on a whole industry, but kind of think it's a big waste of money because Google exists. Like I don't need someone. I, I need to really start getting ready. This always happens with my get ready with me as I like stop doing my makeup, but like, Google exists. I am capable of typing in videographer going to like, honestly, like the lowest priced person I could find. I seriously found the lowest priced person and giving him a call. Be like I, I, I could see how a wedding planner might have had to exist 50 years ago when you didn't have Google and the resources, but I'm not paying someone $3,000 to make a few calls. I'm a former reporter. All I did was make phone calls. So, okay. We actually need to like take a little reset right now because I'm getting heated. I don't know why I'm not like angry. It's just, I'm almost mad that I feel like I'm being made out to be abnormal for not caring, but I just don't care. Like I don't care to throw this giant party and spend tens of thousands of dollars for one night. And I feel like the reason I am a little heated is because I feel like for a lot of people, a wedding is a chance to like show off. Like, look how much I spent. Look how nice this is. Look how much money I have. Whoo, I am heated. This is why I should not keep things bottled up because I really haven't given a wedding planning update in months. But at the end of the day, like I'm really excited to see my friends and family. And that's the only reason I decided to have a wedding. I was thinking and Zach and I were thinking about doing just like a, uh, destination elopement type thing with our family though like our immediate family but then I thought like no it'd be nice like for I have a really big extended family I don't even know if they'll be able to come obviously like, they're from all over but it would be nice to have everyone there so it'd be nice to have that option even just like extended friends who maybe wouldn't necessarily be coming to like a destination elopement type thing I guess it's not an elopement I guess just a destination wedding so the reason I'm doing this is because I I do care about friends and family but for instance flowers Guys, I recently discovered, ever since I started planning my wedding, that people spend thousands on flowers. I'm talking 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. They're expensive and they die the next day. So I personally, that's the one thing, like my wedding is 90% planned. That's the one thing I have not pulled the trigger on because I just don't care. I've never walked into a wedding and thought, Oh, those like carnations look beautiful. I don't even know what flowers are. Like you could put, I, I don't know, like I know a rose, but carnations, for example, I just said that, I don't know what they look like. I'll insert it here. I, they're probably pretty, they're probably fine. Like I don't care. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna get a fake, like a couple of fake flowers. Maybe if I wanna splurge and get like a real flower bouquet. I, I mean, it's not like a splurge, it's just a bouquet, but cool. But like, I'm not decorating the whole thing with thousands of dollars worth of flowers. Like I really don't care. And as for like, I know a lot of people put flowers on like the center of the table. Well, my venue actually comes with these really ugly like center, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but they're just not the most attractive centerpiece things for free. Sold, they're free. We're gonna be fine. We don't need flowers on every table. What else do I have on this little list? Save the dates have been sent out thanks to my mom. She is the one who sent those out, which I am so grateful for. My mom is like my wedding planning partner. And then we have the big things booked. The venue, Dree's Pavilion in Covington, Kentucky, which is right across the river from Cincinnati. Like literally you can walk there in five minutes. It is Cincinnati. Photographer, videographer, photo booth. My mom booked the photo booth. I thought out of everything, that is the one thing that makes a wedding. Like every time I go to weddings, I don't notice anything. I don't care about the food. I, like it's always just good. Like it's fine. Like doesn't matter what it is. It's just, it's food. It's fine. I don't know. I'm not like a, a foodie, I guess, but photo booths. I have so much fun with photo booths. Like I just, I very much so enjoy the photo booth. And I feel like that's also like the, what is it? Like a souvenir or like the goodie bet, like what? Is, I don't know what it is. I think that's actually worth it. Like giving people a photo memory. Oh, and back to the food thing. 
I think taste tests are ridiculous. I mean, I, oh, this video is turning so negative. I'm sorry, I'm just giving my real emotions and I'm, it's, it's pretty negative. So I got an email about doing like a taste test because we are doing a plated meal. I don't need to sit there and taste the food before saying it's good. Like if I want, for example, like I think we might do, I don't know, I really don't know what we're doing. Maybe like a, a steak cod type thing or like a chicken cod, whatever. I'm honest, I'm very like, Zach can kind of just pick it. I really don't care, but like, I can't see myself sitting there and being like, oh, like the cod tastes better than this. Like, it's just, it's just unnecessary. Like, I'm guessing it's just gonna be fine. Like, I don't really need to taste it. Like, tasting it, I don't know. I don't think I need to do the taste test personally. Oh, and also I've had multiple people ask me like, oh, like what are you having Zach wear? Like in that wording. What? Like I'm not, he can wear whatever he wants. Like we don't know what color I, like thing he's like, is it a suit or a tux? I guess a tux, I don't know, whatever it is. We, he doesn't know yet, but like, I would never tell him what to wear. Like, it's whatever he feels most confident and happy in. Like, I can't imagine being like, you must wear like gray. Like, it's just whatever, like, I don't know. Like, I, uh, I'm getting, I'm just, this whole wedding planning thing is just, it's fine, it's whatever, but it's just like annoying me that it's, people take it so, like, seriously. Wow, I feel so weird right now. Gone full in on my makeup, eyeshadow and all, because I don't really wear that anymore. I mean, sometimes every once in a while, but I obviously used to go full throttle with my makeup every day because of the news, and now I don't get to, or it's not that I don't get to, but there's just no point. So this is kind of fun. Let's go for the gold. Uh, what else do I have written down? We don't have our wedding bands yet. You guys see I have this kind of ring, and I basically, if it will focus, just want the same exact band duplicated, whatever that might be. Ooh, another thing, I was starting to feel weird with my dress decision. Like, I don't even know if I like it. Like it wasn't, the dress that I picked is just not what I pictured for myself. Like it's just not, it just was not, I, don't, I can't explain it. Like the, the top is just not what I ever thought. Like I always actually was like, I never want anything like that. And I tried it on and that's just what I liked. And so I was starting to feel like, oh my gosh, did I make the wrong decision? Should I have gone with this one? I really liked this one. This was kind of more the style that I always pictured myself. It was like sparkly and it just, it, it like was almost like Cinderella. But I recently uh, went back in the pics and I am actually really happy with my decision. Like I remembered why I picked that dress. I just felt really like happy in it. I can't even explain it. Maybe others aren't going to like what I chose. I feel like it's gonna be weird like when my wedding dress is revealed, like having people be like, oh, she chose that. But you know, it's, it's what I liked, it's what I wanted. Oh, I actually genuinely need your guys' help and opinions. How should I do my hair? I That's the one thing I don't have booked yet, a hairstylist because I'm debating getting someone to come to the venue to do my hair or the hotel, or should I just go to the salon? Like, I don't feel like paying the travel fee. I don't know. I, I, I just, it just feels like so bougie. And it's like, everyone's like, oh, it's just one day. It's your wedding, but it's like, why blow all my money for one day? Like, it's just, there's no point. So anyway, I don't have the hairstylist booked, but I don't know how I wanna do my hair because I was so sold on, oh, obviously like an updo. I feel like everyone does an updo. But recently I've been seeing more people wear their hair down. That's how I feel most confident. Like I always wear my hair down, right? Like I don't just do updos when I wanna look good. I actually feel like I look weird with that type of thing. But maybe if like the hairstylist did it nicely. I had like a really bad prom experience where the person, like I gave her a picture of a low bun. I don't have many prom pictures, but she did it on the side of my head. It was the weirdest hairstyle. It just did not turn out well at all. I feel like I kind of showed up to prom looking like a little bit of a a train wreck. Like it was fine, but I just, I got ready so last minute. A lot of people got their makeup done. I did my own makeup. That's still up for debate with my wedding day. If I want to go with a makeup artist or just do my own makeup, I'm leaning toward just doing my own because I know what I like. It's fine. But anyway, back to the hair. So it's either all the way up with like, hopefully, like I don't want anything slicked back, but like hopefully like, you know, some loose pieces, half up, half down, which could be a really good in between, or just send it full down, nicely curled. What do you guys think I should do? I have no idea. I want it to be like, I don't know, like decent, not long, but like maybe like around this length, so I have some options, but I just don't know. I mean, I am getting married in this summer, so it's going to be hot. I believe, hopefully, that's the goal with my preferences. I also have not made a registry yet, and 
I feel weird even making a registry like here like buy me these things like what I, I just feel so uncomfortable with that and I I don't I don't know if I'm even going to do that because also the registry you like the weddings everything has changed the father walking the person down the aisle he was giving away his daughter like now I'm 27 I don't need to be given away although my dad will walk me down the aisle but it's still kind of crazy and also with the registry it used to be like people didn't move in together before marriage so it was like you're buying your stuff for the first time like let's help fill this house but we have a lot of stuff so i don't know guys i just feel weird and then our last dilemma question mark is i feel like this looks i'm not used to wearing eyeshadow this looks a little weird we can blend it out but the last thing is our honeymoon we still do not know where to go like once again i'm not trying to full send it like let's stay in bora bora and spend fifteen thousand dollars on our honeymoon no i'm trying to be realistic with this like it's i just want it to be like a nice vacation we've thrown around the idea of returning to jamaica because we absolutely loved jamaica when we went two years ago and that's pretty much where i am at for now this was a big wedding update part of me is already regretting everything i said and i feel like i should have acted more like oh i'm excited and i am excited i am excited i just am not a wedding girl i'm just not like i'm just it's gonna be it's gonna be fun i just don't i don't know i just get annoyed with like the wedding industry trying to take all your money because this, the second you say it's for a wedding it's like 500 dollars more for each thing it's just it's ridiculous and i okay this is where I need to like go into my happy place i'm obviously very happy to be marrying zach and all of that like all of that we're good in the hood i just don't need it to be like a fairy tale cinderella day like at all zach's just sitting outside with his bowl of peas without a care in the world just taking in the view balcony boy strikes again that looks like almost farting what you always think everything's a fart i swear no, not until you're doing 24 7. no but i just did a whole wedding update zach what are your thoughts on the wedding planning process it's been seamless yeah all that you've been doing no stress what are your thoughts i just got a little and i feel like what well, i'm keeping it in but i just feel mm. like i shouldn't have uh whatever i'm done pretending like no, I mean, I think my thoughts are probably more negative to it. I think it's just a lot of money spent on one day, pleasing other people that it's not even for you. It's just a lot of work and stuff, and obviously we're going to enjoy it. All of our closest friends and family are going to be in town. Like, it's going to be awesome. People are also, like, really judgy at weddings, which it just doesn't even make sense. Like, oh who, like why? I, if all your life has come to is being judgy at people's weddings, like, you need to, like, reevaluate yourself. Like Because we have been, can, to, like, we have been to weddings that cost... Uh, upwards of two hundred thousand dollars and we've gone to weddings that they really did on a budget i have had the same amount of fun i'm not gonna say i had more no. fun but i had the same amount of fun no it, well yeah and i same i agree with that but it's just like why if your center like goes we're not paying for centerpieces because that's dumb like it's just like if you go around like judging other it's like you're crazy like you just have to be a miserable person like and have nothing else going on for you like just like go enjoy like if we choose chicken and steak enjoy one or the other and like you're like what well, can't believe these are my options or like whatever it is like holy smokes like that's just it's just crazy to, like, i guess i'm just maybe i'm just unbothered by a lot of things and like oblivious but it's just like no it's whatever also i didn't want to ruin the moment but a beautiful boat just went by now i'm thinking we should have just eloped him like florida or jamaica or somewhere but the one thing that's keeping me it's like i'm really happy like we'd have to put a big cut off on that yeah. Like, there were too many people I would want to be there, so I am happy, but it really would have been nice. And do you have any ideas on your suit color yet? Could be navy, could be gray, I could wear a tux and just go black. I don't have any groomsmen, so I only have to worry about myself. Every man for himself. Always. You'll look, you look great no matter what. You too. Thanks. This is the finished makeup look. I am definitely going to have to redo my hair because I don't know what is going on with it. Those clips I put in actually created like a dent, which never happened. And that's not supposed to happen. So going to have to redo that. Luckily, it's still super early and our photo shoot isn't until six, which by the way, I didn't even say what I'm doing. Zach and I are going to be doing a couple's photo shoot on the beach because Grace Torres, who is a local photographer here in Florida, reached out. I looked at her Instagram and was like, oh my God, goodness she is so talented i am so excited to do this even though 
I am very unphotogenic. Like if you ever see a picture of me on Instagram, just know there are 68 others that did not make the cut because I'm just, like some people are just very natural in front of the camera with the poses and the angles. That's just not me, which is fine. I'm not a model, so it doesn't really matter, but I always need to give that disclaimer. So I really, truly need to give this disclaimer to her, but I'm so excited. It's gonna be like a little sunset beach photo shoot. I've never done a photo shoot at the beach, so this is totally unique. And last week I even went shopping just for this photo shoot to get a new dress, which I'm super excited about. Well, I will give the disclaimer, it's not my favorite dress in the world, but I was just so happy. I got it on sale. I went to Francesca straight to, let's actually put it over here, straight to the clearance rack and I saw this and I thought this is just like so beachy. I wanted like a super flowy beachy dress. I honestly wanted one that was long, but this will have to do. And then as for possible jewelry, I might just do the full send with my altered state jewelry. Gold, gold. Gold isn't my favorite though. And this is very like not subtle. I'm normally used to wearing a subtle necklace or I could do these silver hoops. We just, we don't know. This is the dress. And honestly, I'm kind of liking it very simplistic without all of that like gold jewelry and kind of just like my simple necklace also just wearing flip-flops because i figure i'll even be taking my shoes off like we're on a beach with sand and everything zach has some of his options laid out although he doesn't feel the need to wear a shirt right now just working from home shirtless nice dress thanks <laughs> <laughs> looks nice thank you <laughs> as soon as the camera comes out, Zach has to take a sip of water every time, like clockwork. If I ever fear that you're dehydrated, I'll just put the camera in your face. Is that a good joke? Yeah. <laughs> My mom just sent me a posing guide because she knows I'm not photogenic at all. And the little caption with it is, a lot of people are beautiful, but not all of them are photogenic. And it really is true. I'm actually gonna pop some of these on the screen. Like, just because I'm looking at it though, doesn't mean I can execute it. Like when you are the one in front of a camera, I'm not even like, it's not that I'm uncomfortable. It's not that I'm nervous, nothing like that. It's just my body, just like dancing, I seriously can't dance at all, does not move in the right way. Okay, this one is classic. Like I naturally pose like the person on the left, but what you see so many people do on Instagram is how she's doing it on the right. Like that just looks so much better. This one speaks to me because Zach takes a lot of my photos. So I look like the person on the left, but on the right, she looks so much cooler. Another one where like the hands are awkward, awkward pose. And then you can see she just pops the leg, has the arms out a little and it just changes the whole photo. So it's definitely good to know. Right now I'm just doing a quick little errand. I wanna go to like Walgreens or something to get a card. And I think I also need flip flops because my flip flops, I have a theory that like, yes, you save money by going to TJ Maxx and Nordstrom Rack, but sometimes these things are on sale because they're not functional. Like I can't tell you how many times I've gotten bad shoes from there, but then I've also gotten good ones. I don't know. Basically my flip flops that I got from TJ Maxx have been cutting my feet. They were $9. That's great. But I need like just comfy flops also i now just take an envelope full of singles with me everywhere because of the florida tolls which i totally forgot about it's like a dollar and i'm prepared i am so proud of myself because i was standing in walgreens i saw these pretty flip-flops that i really wanted to get but they didn't look comfy and then i saw another pair they were not very good looking but they did look comfy and it was tempting but I went with the ugly pair because I just need comfort nowadays. That's all I need. And then I also went to Publix. I just got a couple of bananas. These are like a really nice afternoon snack. And then I got some gum. This is the best kind. Like I seriously won't have any other gum. Like I'll have it, but this is the only kind that actually tastes good to me. It is the Wrigley's Five Brand Spearmint Rain. I just finished filming an Instagram sponsorship. I touched up my hair, although it really always has a mind of its own, which is why Fun fact, I think I'm actually gonna do a little chop. This is news to you too, Zach. Nothing crazy, but maybe like up to here because then I'll straighten it all the time. I think my curly method is frying it. Do something crazy. <laughs> I feel like the things you say are almost like scripted. Like, like, <laughs> like you go into like your brain and then you find like a phrase and you like select that phrase. Yep. All right, you guys are in for a real treat because Zach is going to be doing the voiceover. Welcome, Zach. Thanks, Clance. Well, here we are with Grace. She's teaching us how to pose and all that, which is actually nice with her and Christian because they can do it together. She's showing us how to run down the beach. I mean, 
It's, fun. it's always like awkward when you're doing like the running and different things, but I think the photos come out well. Like this looks very odd. You're done. Wow. <laughs> Your timing is, I want you to like try to time it next time. Like try to know. What do you, how am I supposed to try to know? I don't look, know what's look. coming. You can see where the red, you see where this little red line is? All right, well maybe show me what I'm looking at first. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are witnessing a real fight. Well, no, but like you, you can't give me. Love you, bye. Criticism. <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when I don't actually see it. Oh my gosh, this lighting is insane. Ah, and I want you guys to meet Grace and Christian. Break it all down for me. How did you begin this? This is a husband wife duo. Yeah. And they're incredible. <laughs> like your you. Instagram page, when I saw it, I was like, what? How is this a thing? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I started in high school, built my business throughout college, really did a lot of like social media marketing. Now I get a lot of referrals from planners, just like in the real world, I feel like um, connections and networking is everything. But build a strong portfolio, try absolutely everything to see what you like, and then really niche down on the specifics and become an expert in your field. Also, I want to say I am so sorry, but Christian's part where I was talking to him, is not, uh, it's not usable because of this. You know, you know, you're a Obviously, it was a very windy night, but Grace and Christian were awesome. I'm back home. The photo shoot was so much fun. Grace and her husband, and Christian, are seriously like the nicest people ever. And that's the thing with being a photographer. I've always said I have so much respect for photographers because I dropped a photography class in college. I thought I was just gonna take it like for fun. You know, when you need those extra credit classes, like it doesn't matter what it is. My very first assignment, I got a B. And I just was like, nope, nope. Because I figured the first assignment was the easiest and I was, it just was a lower grade than I was expecting, which in hindsight, oh my gosh, the I should have gotten a D on it. Like I was so bad. Photography just involves skills that I, I, I mean, I'm guessing like I could learn, but I really do think like it takes a certain type of person. And it also takes a certain type of personality because it's not just about like, clicking a button or doing the right settings on your camera, it's also your personality, like encouraging the people in front of the camera and telling them what to do. And Grace and Christian were seriously just like so good at that. And I'm gonna leave their information below if you guys are interested in booking them for your photo shoot, which I haven't seen the photos yet, but I'm sure I'll be posting them on my Instagram. So be sure to check out at Clancy Burke. Pretty simple username. And although they are based here in Florida, they travel anywhere. Like they're gonna be traveling all over in the coming year, so definitely check them out. And I didn't even mention in this vlog, by the way, my mom is visiting tomorrow, which I am so excited to see her. I'm gonna be picking her up from the airport in Tampa at around like 1.15, and she's gonna be staying for, I don't know, like five or six days, which is gonna be awesome. She's not staying with us because we just have a one bedroom here, so she actually really wanted to book a place on the beach. She's just been like craving a beach, so she's staying on St. Pete Beach. It's like, I don't know, a seven minute drive from us, so super close. And she'll be here for the next week. It stinks because our next rental unit is a two bedroom. So she could have stayed with us, but we didn't know our next rental unit was going to be a two bedroom, which by the way, a little spoiler alert for anyone who actually watched the full vlog, which thank you, I'm always so like grateful for the people who actually stay for the full vlog. We do have another change of plans <laughs> with our next rental and we were no longer going to the city we thought we were going to. So I'm gonna do a little update here soon. I just like want to chill with the dramatic update vlogs because I just feel like it's like one after the other, like change of plans and then this and that. So we're just, I'll, I'll explain all of that in an upcoming vlog, but my next one I'm super excited about because my mom will be here and it will be good. So and actually Zach's friend is coming as well this weekend. So we have a lot going on. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you made it this far. I'll have all of my social media as well as Grace and Christian's photography business linked down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.